Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday afternoon. It's about 3 o'clock. Okay, hopefully uh, we're going to have some decent internet connections to finish live streaming. So, uh, if you are brand new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, we go live pretty much every day, uh, anywhere between 8 a.m. Actually, more like 6 a.m. I go live sometimes at 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning. And uh, sometimes like, you know, three or four in the afternoon. So it all depends on the, my schedule. You know, I mean, as you can see, this is my coffee cave. Not a studio, just a coffee cave. I have some, you know, a couple tours on the back there, a couple of grinders. And they, I like to usually play and some kind of comparison. I love comparing uh, coffee gear. So uh, anyway, so you know what? All right. Look like my connection is uh, decent right now. Pretty good. My connection is... Uh, let's check the sound. Sound is perfect. Yeah, let's get going. Uh, I'm going to be brewing coffee, a uh, company called Burv. Uh, man, so this is pretty dark, okay? They say it's a, they are the darkest coffee they have. But looking at the coffee here, it's not that dark though. It's more like medium roast, okay? Smells pretty good. Uh, great tasting nose. A dark chocolate, thick, and very molasses, which means very sticky and very uh, syrupy. What else? Uh, obviously, as you can see, I have the various uh, the tools from Nomcore. Uh, Nomcore is very, uh, uh, you can say, uh, somewhat affordable. Okay, it's not that expensive. Okay, so it's not that expensive compared to expensive coffee tools. Okay, and. Uh, so this is their spring-loaded uh, coffee temper here, spring-loaded. And compared to, this is the, my friend Gilberto from uh, Bravo, okay. So look at the beer quality, uh, definitely different, okay. Definitely higher beer quality, but uh, they're pretty much doing the same thing. Spring-loaded, spring-loaded, and uh, 58.5, same size, 58.5 millimeter as well. Uh, one is obviously premium made. Uh, Normcore is more like more for affordable, but you know, do the job. Okay. Uh, I'm, obviously, I'm using the 58.5 millimeter distribution tool, and using the grinder from Fimo Book. Uh, if you don't know what Fimo Book is, uh, this is like brand new company from uh, company from uh, China. Okay, and then they are doing the. I believe they're going. They are going to launch the next month at Coffee. Uh, coffee show in kind of like coffee festival, I guess, in Taipei in November. So make sure to watch out for that. Very interesting company. Uh, 68 millimeter conical. So, so let's put that in perspective. Uh, the niche binder, niche z uh, zero, is a 63 millimeter. So this is 68, so five millimeter larger. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to be better. I'm not quite sure, but. Uh, by the way, goodness, uh, I got some interesting live chat going. Uh, look like there are somebody spamming us right now. Wow. Good. I mean, that's that's very interesting there. Okay, I I never I think I seen it once before. Yeah, kind of like adult theme uh, live chat going on, but hey, it's all right. All right, so this is uh, their needle tools as well. So this is uh, actually really fun to use. This is more like uh, Duomo 8. Yeah, if you don't know what Duomo 8 is, that's, uh, they're made in Korea, my home country. It has needles on it. You can spinning the needle by distributing at WDT tools, like so. So this is also fun tools to use. So man, again, the Normcore makes a lot of Cool coffee tools. If you're if you're into gadgets, that's fantastic. All right, so I got my 18 gram already dosed out. Uh, I'm using the Fimo book. I'm very curious how long it's gonna take grind uh, 18 gram on Fimo book. Any guesses? Uh, we got some few people on the live chat right now. Any uh, anybody guesses over and under? 30 seconds for 18 gram, over and under. Let's see how many people are saying over and under. I, I say, okay, I mean, I know the answer, but 
Love to see you're curious. Uh, Dogman say over. Burke say under. CF and say over. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for a few more papers. Guess over. 25 seconds there. Okay, good. Yeah, under. Oh, Jesse say 47. Goodness. All right. I'm gonna. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. I'm going to stop when this is done. Stay going. Okay. Thirty seconds exactly. Exactly thirty seconds. Okay. So exactly thirty seconds. All right. So with this grinder, uh, highly recommend the RDT. Okay. <clears throat> highly recommend the RDT. Uh, hopefully I can show you guys. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Uh, on the bottom here, uh, just like kind of spins around. I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna spin it around. I'm just gonna remove it. They're magnetic. I'm just gonna top it a few times. Reason why I move around, you see that little bit of that thing right there? They scrape out the burrs underneath. Okay, right, yeah. So it comes to retention wise, uh, it's pretty good, okay? It doesn't have too much retention. Uh, if you do the, <clears throat> the proper RDT, you should be fine. I'm just gonna put back in. Okay. So let's do some little bit of puck prep here. Uh, comes to puck prep. You know, some people like to do RD, you know, uh, WDT or I bet you you have your own method. Okay. I know you guys have your own method, but personally, I like my, I like using my gadgets. I don't know about you guys, but uh, this is the dosing ring as well. Uh, this pretty cool is magnetic, so I'm just gonna put it in. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna be playing with that the needle tools. Put it in here. Okay, you can go slow. Okay, like this. Personally, you know, I like to go a little fast. It's all up to you. Okay. Spins around. Quick tap. I mean, again, I mean, it works pretty good. Yep. Works pretty So I'm just going to use my Dera distribution tool. The spring loaded tamper. And then finish you with Gnome Core uh, puck screen. I know some people like to use the paper too. Uh, I am a big fan of the paper, but whenever I do my uh, milk-based drink, you know, I want the extra, that oil, that crema. So I usually skip it. But uh, let's pull the shot. Yeah. Let's pull some shot here. Hold on. I'm just going to quickly change the angle. Hold on. There we go. So let's make a small cappuccino drink. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself a small drink here. Oh, by the way, so this is another, God, milk picture from Gnomecore too. Uh, rubberized handle, handleless. Man, you know what, leave it up to Gnomecore, okay? If something cool gadget come out, Sooner or later, they are going to come up with their own version of it. Just going to be a little bit of milk. Okay, let's take a look at from the underneath.
Looks pretty good. Uh, let's do like 40 gram. 23 seconds, 40, 39 gram there. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Oops. Okay, and then now we got let's do some milk. Okay. To some milk. Uh, if you are just joining us, we are using the Lab Bianca as the machine. Comes the steaming power, it's not the fastest, but it does work. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe, purge one more time here. All right, let's do some little bit of latte art. Okay, uh, you want milk to be very silky smooth, okay? I'm just gonna break the crema. Here we go. The key to good latte, I just go slow. Just go slow. Take your time. not too bad not the best but yeah again if you look at the good latte are <clears throat> very symmetry okay so this is not a good one a little up balance there but you know what I take it uh, let's give it a try okay here we go okay so far uh, our connection is still decent. Okay, we got we still have some decent connection. Okay. There we go. Happy Monday, guys. I hope you guys are having a great Monday afternoon. There we go. Man. Okay, without the caramel, still, still delicious. Imagine, <clears throat> imagine if we put the caramel in it. So I've been playing with uh, this Torani, okay. This is a pure made uh, sauce, okay. It's not the syrup sauce. Huh? I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Torani, not too much. Just gonna mix it here. Shout out to Wolf from Sweden. All right, we have Wolf from Sweden. Okay, let's try with a little bit of syrup on. Man, it's perfect. That's fantastic, fantastic. So again, it comes to coffee tools. Man, you know what? There are so many great tools out there. Uh, it all depends on how much money you want to spend and also how much time you want to spend on your coffee habits, okay? Coffee hobby. And uh, if you have time, if you have the money, goodness, you have a pretty much, that's unlimited. Okay, let, let's put it that way. All right, that's unlimited. Okay, hold on a second here. I'm gonna show, okay, so it comes to grind uh, with the female book. 18 gram about 30 seconds okay it's about 30 seconds to and the compared to the niche grinder you are looking at about 17 seconds 17 18 seconds for 18 grams so uh, if you're comparing with the niche obviously niche is faster and quieter okay but this female book is they're louder and slower all right uh, come let's see here you got shout out to Jandri just joining us as well. Hold on, hold on a second. Someone asked me about the paper. Uh, is paper reduce the crema? Uh, reduce the oil. So which means, yeah, reduce the crema. Yeah, you can say that. All right. Okay. <coughs> uh, what's the RPM on female book? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's, 
I'm not sure about the RPM, but I mean, they're, they're a different grinder. And FemoBook, the power supply is more like the laptop power supply. And then obviously with a niche grinder, it's just regular, you know, power cord. So uh, again, if you don't like the high pitch noise, here, let's try again, here. It's, it's pretty high, okay? It is loud. So if you are sen sensitive to noise, definitely uh, ma make sure to do research before, all right? Uh, Jesse said, I would uh, slower, honestly, twice, yeah, so twice as slower as, yeah, niche is, pre yeah, I mean, so again, uh, grind 18 gram on my EK43, about two seconds, okay, and DF64, obviously, I, I feel like DF64 is faster than uh, niche, but, okay, any fines on bottom of your cup, uh, Berg is asking there, hold on. Uh, it's not too bad, all right. Not a whole lot of fines, yeah. But uh, this grinder has not been seasoned, okay? It has not been seasoned yet. So I did a comparison over the weekend. Uh, we pick obviously uh, we picked out the niche uh, uh, coffee from niche. Uh, we are doing the espresso comparison, but I'm looking forward to season this grinder and do another comparison down the road. I wonder it's gonna be uh, any difference. So, uh, hold on, I got Orf ask a thoughts on Eureka Minion. Uh, they're a great grinder. Uh, yeah, can't beat it. They're well built. If you guys are into espresso, yeah, I mean, that is the fantastic grinder there. Okay, Gendry asks, do you recommend spraying a little Miss, yeah, uh, you know what? Okay, uh, for this grinder, you, you want to do RDT. RDT means rust droplet technique. So definitely one or two drops of water. I know some people use that spray bottle. I'm not a big fan of it. I feel like you, you know, put too much moisture in the, uh, in the beans, okay? I'm, so uh, I'm not a big fan of that because I just want to do one or two drops. I know some people, you know, like to just spray like one or two. But yeah, I just a one is just fine uh, for for my experience. Let's put it that way. Okay, I got a shout out to Linda. Linda is hanging out with her granddaughter today. All right, guys. Uh, by the way, uh, if 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 any of any of you have uh, the 58 millimeter, they are distribution tool, the WDT. Yeah, let me know in the comment section. You guys like this or? Make sure if you're buying from Amazon, get it from Amazon, okay? I highly recommend it. The reason why I want you to get it from Amazon, you can return it. If you don't like it, return, all right? And make sure whenever you get this, check the uh, bearing. Make sure everything needs to be spins well. That's, yeah. If it's not spins well, don't, okay? Uh, do not mess with it, just, just send it back because, <coughs> hold on. Uh, because uh, some of our is not, it's not spins well, so. Man, talk about a long way, okay? So this is Normcore version one, all right? Came out uh, last year sometime. <clears throat> you see the very, very thick needle? Extremely thick. It doesn't spin, it has no bearing. So you gotta spin like, you know, just you gotta spin it. So this is version one. Less than a year, these guys uh, kind of like revamped the entire tools. Has a spinning tools, you know, that you actually uh, has a bearing in it, spins well. And also uh, this needle is extremely thin. This is even like thinner than my acupuncture needle. So again, goodness. I mean, the, I'm pretty impressed with the norm core. They work fast, all right? Uh, whenever they find some issues and they fix it in a matter of months, not years. So uh, just make sure you get it from, again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, get it from Amazon and if you don't like it, just return it. All right. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm just looking at uh, your comments there. 
David has a question. Okay, let's take a look at Dave's question. I use a manual mode, um, okay, and the motion at six gram more. Yes, uh, answer is yes, because uh, one of you press the button, it's still going to uh, drop. It has the still liquid inside. So what I, what I usually do is, if I'm looking for uh, 30, let's say 40 gram, I stop at like 34 gram. So I get the rest of coffee come down. So yeah, again, minimum four to five gram for my experience. Uh, just remember, uh, if you're whatever you're looking for, stop earlier. All right, just make your stop earlier. Anyway, I think uh, so far so good. I mean, I'm glad our internet connection is fine so far. And again, uh, if you have a norm core tools, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, uh, Burke, you can actually adjust the height, okay? You can uh, uh, actually adjust the depth by loosening the top. So yeah, you can definitely, you know, you can go higher, you know, you can go shallow, or you can go deeper. You can definitely change the depth there. Because uh, you, you might want to set, kind of like barely touch the bottom. So make sure get the, you know, make sure go all the way down. If you hear the uh, scratching noise and then slightly back up and tight. So you're going to get the total. All right. <clears throat> okay, Jesse. All right, I think we are... We are pretty good here. Hold on a second here. Uh, Wolf asks, uh, this is not a timer scale. This is a Kaya scale, okay? So this is the most expensive scale out there. And do I recommend this? Uh, if, you, if you own a restaurant, if you own a coffee shop, highly recommend it. At home, this is way, way overkill, but if you are a coffee hobbyist, I mean, this, this is cool, okay? This is cool skill to have. But 250 bucks, okay? So Nomcore, what? Well, Nomcore is about 70, uh, not Nomcore, Timer, the Nano scale is about $70. Hold on, I think I have it here, right here. So this is the, no, uh, this is the Timer, okay? The Nano scale, okay? So this is the, the Akaya scale. Side by side is about the same size. It's about what, 70 bucks, right? The norm core is about 70 bucks. And this is uh, again, 250. So, I mean, there are, there are, the, uh, there are two different uh, scale though, okay? So, I mean, if you wanna go cheaper option, the nano scale is not that bad, okay? But, you know what, I'm, I'm at home, I'm pretty happy with the G dealer scale as well, the $10, what, $11 one. Uh, served me well for years and years, so. All right. <clears throat> okay, Richard say, Richard has a gnome core distribution tools, and he likes it. All right. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday afternoon. And then, you know, we're gonna do some, you know what? A lot, let's do some more comparison uh, coming, okay, this way. I think in the female book, it's been fun to play with. It's loud, but it's really fun. But I do have a DF-83 right behind me over there, okay, DF-83. <clears throat> so uh, you should be interesting to play with. <clears throat> okay, okay, hold on. Okay, so the wolf say hide the expensive step away from home. You know what? I mean, luckily my wife knows. I mean, my wife doesn't want any coffee gadgets at home. I mean, the less is better at home. So I think we are. Uh, seems like I think I covered all the live questions. Uh, by the way, man, thank you so much for supporting this channel for the over the years. Okay, over the years. 100,000 guys, 100,000 people subscribe. You know what? The, so here's the truth about the 100,000 subscriber. Most of my subscriber, okay, they watch me maybe once or twice months, maybe once a month perhaps, maybe once every three months because 
I have these cleaning videos, as you guys know, on Brista Express. I still have to go back to remind myself, kind of refresh my memory, how to do uh, those button combination, okay? So I know most of you, you know, you guys watch me, you know, a few times here. That's fine, guys. Okay. That's great. All right. That's great, though. Because I, like, I, like I mentioned many, many times, uh, the best home coffee machine, you know, I have to say Express, all right? Bravo Brewster Express is one of my all-time favorite. And Pro, and Pro is really nice too. So if I'm going to get one right now, okay, if I'm going to get the uh, uh, coffee machine for home, all right? I'm talking about home, home coffee machine for my family. It's going to be Bravo Brewster Pro or Express, one or the other, okay? I'm not even bothered to entertain like little Bianca with a grinder. No, I just stay with Espresso Pro because I didn't have to worry about you know my kids, you know my kids, my boys are you know mess things up. Either yeah, get dirty. Either, yeah, because this machine the behind me, little like Bianca, takes a lot of time to maintain it. I mean, I'm talking about cleaning it, uh, especially stainless steel. A lot of you know print hand print so yeah I prefer uh, ex, uh, Express or Pro over high-end the dual boiler okay let's put it that way uh, Jesse asked do you notice difference between 14 bar versus 7 yeah you know what that's a lot uh, you know the lower bar pressure you know prevent the channeling for sure so uh, if you're looking at the newer uh, Brista Express they make it as a nine bar machine now. So yeah, very interesting. All right, very interesting there. Uh, Richard asks, Nano Press versus Aero Press. Uh, you know what, I mean, again, the Aero Press, it's not the same because the Aero Press cannot make Espresso. The Nano Press can, Nano Press can. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we, we find some other comparison. All right. Yeah, hold on. Okay, do you know if you can the you can mod out the uh, Brewster Express? Uh, you could, but you know I think I do have a, a dimmer mod option on my video. Wolf, so uh, so check out the dimmer mod on my channel. It's gonna show you how to do it. But you know what? If I were you, I'm just just use it as is. Okay. They got overpressure valve mod, but yeah, you know, I mean, don't bother. Okay, I want to. I mean, if you have time to do it and patience to do it, yeah, do it. But if I were you, I mean, just play with the 14 bar. All right. Okay. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with us this afternoon. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.